What's up guys and welcome back to the infamous project. It is the reveal of now the above average Fox. That is right. This is David's 1991 GT that he brought to me probably about a month ago and said, Chris, man, I'd really appreciate it if you could just plug away at this car and fix what needs to be fixed on it. You know, there's a lot of little tiny things and I didn't do everything guys. And right up front i know it's a little breezy out and i apologize for any of that wind noise that you guys might be hearing i'll try and edit it out to the best of my ability but here we are we have david's gt here and man it probably really doesn't look that much different compared to when he dropped it off the interior is definitely going to feel different that's for sure when he pops the hood it's going to look different but ultimately to the average person that's just looking at this car they're gonna be like, man, what did you even do to it? Well, a lot's been done. So much has been done. I got a big list here in my hand and I'm gonna have to try and remember to go through it all. But, um, you know, first things first, you wanted to make sure that mechanically everything was good with the car and, you know, get the compression test done and going over things like spark plugs, oil changes, all the general maintenance items. His alignment was all out of whack up in the front there. So now everything is sitting pretty good with my quick trick alignment tool that I used um, right towards the end there. But um, let me try and rhyme off here everything that's been done to this car. I'm just gonna peek at my, my cheat sheet, so to speak. I'm gonna leave it over here. not going to share with you guys the cheat sheet because it's full of the costs and everything that uh, it took to get it done so let's let's go to the interior first in fact no we'll skip we'll, we'll do the exterior new quarter glass right scott drake um, put these in painted them up got them all matching no more mustang logo but you know a vinyl sticker will fix that up or swip, swap it to you know an instagram handle or whatever you want to do um the calipers that was the last minute thing because if you remember they were yellow they were god awful guys they painted them on the car and they oversprayed yellow everywhere there really wasn't much i could do other than scuff as much of the old shit off and go ahead and hit them up with some red and they turned out pretty good you know this is a driver for him you know the car's not perfect the paint's not perfect but calipers look a million times better in red and you know i tried to dab some white paint on the cobra emblem there to make that stand out we have a whole six piece headlight kit um the one piece headlights that were in it are removed and the we did diamond clear fog lights full led conversion so all of the bulbs are in fact led headlight inner lights parking lights fog lights all of that is done uh, he already had the shorty antenna. I believe I put on a new cowl trim for him. Actually, I forgot to put that on the list. So he's got a new cowl trim and I replaced the door handle on the driver's side for one that looks better. Um, this trim piece wasn't riveted on, so we riveted that down. And I think that's about it. You know, other than the exhaust tips, getting those straight. Um, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the outside. So let's move on to the inside because the inside I think is one of the, man, a lot's changed here. So if you guys remembered, this had god awful old school purple window tint. Window tint has been replaced with upgraded stuff that's not purple. We finally got the driver's side door panel on because this was not on the car when I received it. We did new armrest pads, did new map bag pockets, window switch bezel trim, new speaker grill um, covers, new door speakers. We did vapor barrier, sound deadening behind the door panels, plus some kill mat. The whole dash came out. Dash came out because we did a heater core. We did evaporator core, full LED cluster upgrade, um, LEDs in the heater, climate controls, fixed a whole bunch of wiring for 
where the stereo connectors were initially, we removed those gauges that were down in the bottom there. If you remember, um, there's three gauges and hooked up all of the factory gauges in the cluster. So all of those gauges now work, you know, the voltage, temperature, oil pressure, because all that was disconnected. Um, swapped out the headlight switch, got the cup holder style armrest in here, new black belts, and painted up the map light here um, because that was still in gray format. Got a new A-pillar over here because that was drilled out once upon a time for some gauges that were in there. So now when we crank the key back, we got our JBL Base Pro Hub controls in the glove box. We've got base in the back, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And we fixed the trunk release that was not hooked up. Oh yeah, we got new door sill plates and of course, you know, just cleaned everything that was hiding underneath seats because the seats came out so we could do the belt buckles and everything, everything got cleaned. This car had a lot of cleaning in general, guys. So, back here, rear plastics came out because we had to do the quarter glass change. So that was done. Of course, the tint's done back here. This panel was removed. We did a full interior screw kit. So all the screws are nice and black and not rusty looking. He was missing a piece of carpet off one of these backsides. So I managed to get one off the parts car, dye it up so everything matches. And then if we lift up in here, he had a, like wood. I had an extra, uh, what you might call it, whatever this would be, a piece of wood cargo thingamadoo. And then we have our base pro hub all connected up here and looking good. If you guys are wondering how that sounds, it actually sounds amazing for what it is. I've got a full video on it with the strawberry car. So be sure to check that out. Now, some of you guys might argue about these uh, tires. They, uh, it's kind of like the 0304 Terminator. You know, I'm gonna have my tires outside of the car look, but I have to say, after driving this car, um, not only does it hook like mad, the brakes are probably, considering it's just the Cobra PBRs up front and change in the back, I don't know what it is, but the braking is actually phenomenal in this thing. Um, every Fox body brakes different. Every Fox body steers different. Oh yeah, we did not only this door handle change, did the door pins on this driver's side door because they were sagging. So everything opens and closes beautifully now. Let's look under the hood. So in the engine bay, we took everything out of the perimeter of the bay, did an in motor in bay paint job. So all of this has been painted with the motor in the car still. Uh, he already had the new battery tray. I did add the coil cover. We cleaned up a whole bunch of wiring in there, uh, put new loom on a lot of the harness, rewrapped the whole headlight harness. You can see it's all loomed up here and cleaned all that up, you know, painted things like the hood latch, these little guys here. So the worst looking part is actually the nose cone of the bumper. Swap the cold air intake kit to this black textured style um, instead of the chrome BBK. Painted the valve cover silver to match the intake manifold. All the intake was taken off and everything else to wrap up the harness, clean everything. Check the TPS, got that dialed into one volt because that was actually sitting at like 1.13. And most importantly, I think, it was getting these Mac long tube headers in here, getting rid of whatever those were. These GT40P heads, if you haven't seen the video guys, they are a challenge. If you wanna run long tubes, you know, I lucked out, I found these blems. You can see there's a couple dings and dents on them, but to be one and three quarter inch, they go in without having to jack your motor up. They clear the starter, which actually we added a high torque mini starter in there, which I forgot to put on my list as well. Um, what else? Uh, our new sending unit for the temp, new sending unit for our oil pressure. And of course, from the long tubes down, brand new O2 sensors. We had to do um, O2 extenders on the harness to make sure that they would reach. Did a pace setter H pipe because they had some homemade thing, pipes, flow tubes into his MagnaFlow catback. So the whole exhaust system 
other than his cat back has been revamped it's all working together it's not rattling it's aligned and it sounds pretty good so all of that is good in the hood um, radiator was already done so there's some of these things that i can't take credit for oil separator system was already there which i actually like this one this jnl i might have to get that for the lightning over there but that's it i'm sure i forgot some stuff i can check at the the list here there's just so many little things that yeah like nuts the proper nuts for the tops of the struts here because these weren't correct got a you know inline breaker here for the stereo just little things like that what else brand new doorman door lock actuators we did put new plugs in there and we actually found that not all the plugs were changed they were different there were some ngks mixed with some um, auto lights so we've got everything pretty much sorted out on this guy and i'm really excited i'm hoping that david's really going to enjoy it and of course i did the quick trick alignment on the front so that you know he could stop ruining he was like brand new tires that he put in the front and the alignment was completely off and it really messed with the um, inside of the tire it was kind of starting to cup a little bit so not sure if the tire will be saved or not there's lots of tread on there but um, I drove it over when I drove it home it seemed to be okay so I think we caught it right in the nick of time so it's always one thing guys like make sure your car is aligned and driving straight down the road so here we have it what I would like to propose that we now call the above average fox and if David slaps a paint job on this thing Honestly, it's going to be a really, really nice car. There's no rust on this car. It's had a couple little war wounds here and there that can be fixed. You know, the pinch welds and a little bit on the front bumper cover and a little bit of misalignment here and there. But honestly, guys, this is a really solid foundation. And I'm sure David's going to be able to appreciate the car for what it is. This is his first Fox body. He's a truck guy and he just somehow got drawn to the Fox body, he managed to pick this one up. So it's the type of person that I want to make sure that I can impress and make sure that he enjoys the car so that, you know what I mean? We need more cool people in the Fox body community. But anyways, I'm done rambling. We'll do some cinematics. By the way, I have to say it. Here's another Fox body. Head scam intake, beautiful idle. Car doesn't stall. All our gauges are working. And just an awesome little car. Hopefully you enjoy it, David.
that's going to be it for David's 1991 GT. So as always, thank you for following along. Thank you for subscribing. If I have benefited or helped you in any way, shape or form, hit that thanks button or better yet, you want some one-on-one -on -one help with your Fox body or want to be in a great little group of members, join my YouTube memberships. They're available if you hit the join button and you can get in on some personal, well, not personal, but group member live stream sessions and we can talk everything fox body and hopefully i can help you out with your project build or whatever it is that you have going on so until next time we'll see you back here on the infamous project